Okay, so now that I have all the air purged here, we're gonna give a fill. This is a fresh mixed peel cartridge. Blue on the A, red on the B side. Uh, let's make sure it's seated in the nest. full A side and I'll put the cap in here so we can look for the bottom without spill mounts. So we'll do that one. Let's do one more. And even red in the center, blue on the outside. Okay, and they're peeling out of there. I'm going to make sure. Okay, there's our ta nozzle installed. I'm going to loosen these four screws here, about half a turn, quarter to a half a turn, and that allows this to slide back and forth to make up for the difference in the offset of these on the top. I'm going to loosen these four upper screws for the dispensed carriage cylinder. Slide that over a little bit. And you can see that the tab of the cartridge fits right between the, the two tangs of the nozzle here. And The most important thing is that we have good alignment first. The, the snaps are going to remain consistent. These the lower and center snaps are going to be consistent. And then we're just going to kind of align everything else to match up with those. So we have some sliding knees. And that looks pretty well centered. I'm going to go ahead and and hit the head down button here. Okay, so this is the position that the cartridge is going to want to sit in to be lined up with that. So now I can go ahead and tighten these screws at the top. Again, don't need to be very tight, just snug. And at this time I can also tighten this upper support bracket. Screws. Snug should be plenty. Okay. Now I'm going to bring the switch down to contact and fully depress the small wheel on the switch. I'm just going to tighten the two thumb screws in that position. And you can see there that that switch is fully depressed. Now I can hit the red button and drop the inserter. And then this is where we will contact for the fully seated top cartridge uh, chamber or pistons. Okay. Okay, we've gone through the process of moving the dispense head over to the right and moving the upper cartridge support bracket over to the right, installing the Utah cartridge nozzle. Uh, and getting all of that aligned properly. And then again, we moved our inserter limit switch down to the ta mark. We have opened the inserter down speed control all the way counterclockwise to get it out of the way fast enough. And we also adjusted our A dispense delay to the letter E in the downward position, uh, as well as made our volume adjustments um, for the proper fill level on our ta cartridge. So we're going to go ahead and insert that cartridge with the tab between the tangs of the nozzle. Okay. 
to see the B side filling first, and then the A side. There we go. Again, we've tested for the volume that we have it, uh, the meters set at to fill the correct volume in the Utah. Let's fill another. There we go. Put the cap in first this time so I don't make a mess. 